What is going on everybody? My name is James. Welcome to episode number 10 of my path to power. Yesterday we got our first three matches under our belt and that went okay. Uh, two wins, one draw, no losses. I guess I'll take it for a uh, first few matches of FIFA. Not too shabby there, but I went out and I picked up a CF the striker card for Dybala. Now, as I mentioned in yesterday's episode, he is the one player that I am by far having the most success with. What that means for me is that that at this early stage, I'm doing everything that I can to get him as high a chemistry as possible so that I can have as much success as possible playing with him. So I'm going to be using the 4-3-3, and the coolest part about FIFA this year, you can essentially, like, I have to worry about fitness issues. And before, when you worried about fitness issues, you'd essentially have two complete squads that you rotate in and out. Now, if one or two players get low, like my left back and my right back, you'll see in the next game, but they're going to get low, and I'm going to just switch to a three-back formation because I have three center backs that are at good fit fitness it is absolutely brilliant now I did live stream for a little while yesterday and I got a little bit frustrated with the game it is a bit difficult however after having played 15 ish games or so more I've kind of figured a few more things out so now I will be able to give out some tips and help you guys out nice little finish there from Dybala who knew that he could score goals if that is right I did um, but that's a very that's just one of those remarks he is just a very clever, clever little player. Now, there's some other really good players in that match, literally 1-2-0. I was thrilled to escape, and this is the point when I was still having trouble scoring. I could not figure out what it was that I was doing wrong that was making it so that I just frankly could not score goals. Um, and I decided to swap things around and had a look, and then I think I checked my left back and my right back, and I were like, man, they are, they are not looking so good as far as fitness is concerned. Ugh, do I really want to play them like, you know, left back 8? 86 fitness and one of the things you guys will have to take into consideration with your left back and right back is if they have high attacking work rates not only are they going to get tired much more quickly but they're going to be out of position a heck of a lot more so the work rates seem to be quite important so here we go switch it up three five two bring on cardozo for a turbe i've got niel and dibala up front this game lanzini uh who actually is very very good as well as long as you're playing him as a true center attacking mid he doesn't do as well as a center mid he wouldn't do as well as a center forward but in this role in this 3-5-2 he was actually very very good now come up against a 4-1-2-1-2 a pretty decent budget uh italian side so this could make for quite a challenge isco inside lanzini lanzini lovely pass exactly what you'd want from your attacking mid and dybala just slots it away with his preferred left foot 17th minute goal one to nil I thought, hey, this is my first game with the 3-5-2. Maybe the 3-5-2 is back. And you guys are like, oh, no, facepalm. Please, please say it ain't so. But uh, there are a lot. If I've learned anything in the maybe probably almost 20 matches, maybe not 20, probably in almost the 15, 16 matches that I've played, there are there's no guarantee as to which formation is going to be best for you. Uh and that's my that's my honest thought at this point in time. Now I found some formations that I've had some success with. The 4-3-3 that I was running before and this 3-5-2 have by far been the best little uh formations. Now Niel, or I believe that's how you say his name. He's 91 pace silver Argentinian striker uh, on the ball right there. But he he like wasn't completely doing the job. Look at Dybala go. And that's a cool little finish. A little bit of the outside of the boot drives it in. 33rd minute goal. I'll take a little bit of that dirty talk. Um, but Niel like wasn't quite doing the job. Essentially, he was just pacey and meant to get on and kind of wreak havoc. Um, he's only five foot nine, so or maybe even shorter than that. So he felt kind of small. Isco right here, back to Lanzini, and you can see Lanzini just lovely bit of passing. Finds Dybala, slots it away. That combination seems to be working quite well. So another goal in the 39th minute, and we are well on our way to victory, and we're scoring, which is awesome because yesterday i'm sure some of you guys could tell i was like yeah i can't score goals unless it's like on crosses and stuff and one thing i will warn you with the early release connections will be lost it is inevitable and this guy who's making a pass his connection dropped but we won the title because of it so happy days win 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 draw or draw win 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 so we draw our first match and then we've been on a nice little win winning kick from there but we get the extra coins for winning the title which i think is something like two thousand coins which you see on the screen right screen right now so happy days 
there. I actually need to go through. I I looked at my trade pile um, from on the web app and I put so many open bids on some of these Argentinian players that I've now doubled up on some of them and I really should list those away uh, and maybe start building a gold or grabbing some of the gold players for a team that I'd like to eventually progress into. Now, I need you guys to let me know as I buy up the gold players, I'm assuming you're going to want to see which ones I buy because uh, I... There are players that I think I might like to use, but I might end up just trading with them. So I will end up showing you guys, uh, but let me know in the comments what you think about that. Terrible defending just goes right back to Chicharito, fifth minute goal, and I, I just instant face palmed. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna throw this game away so easily. The Mexican team looks really, really strong. They've got pacey players, Vela and uh, Dos Santos look to be monsters this year, and if Chicharito is good, I am in for some trouble. But seven, 18th minute, now I've brought on a different striker, and his name is Vieto. Vieto plays for Racing Club in Argentina, and he is four-star skills, four-star weak foot. 83 pace, something maybe 79 dribbling. I have found my partner for Dybala. This guy is a very, very good striker. He is by far the best of the rest behind behind Dybala. He might, he actually outshot, actually, I don't think I played Dybala this game. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't remember. Uh, if you see him on the pitch, you'll know, but that looks to be Niel over there on the left, but um, Vieto, nice little burb has been attempt. It doesn't do it, but works hard enough to get it back. And as I mentioned, Dybala, there he is popping up and he's going to crush it, but guess who it falls to? Vieto, right place, right time, three goals in the first half, the old German hat trick uh, on his debut. So I am thrilled. I found two players that I like. Lanzini's filling that void in that attacking mid for that three up top, or that, um, not that three up top, but if, so I can play with two strikers in an attacking mid. He's filled that void. I've found uh, Iturbe is quite good for the 4-3-3. The only problem is the right wing. So I am all smiles. Things are starting to click for me. Now I'm going to sell on the, uh, I believe he plays for Werder Bremen, the Garcia, the center back. I just don't like him. I don't think that he's good. I think both of the non-rare Argentinian silver center backs in the uh, Premier Division, or one is in the Premier Division Max. The other one, uh, I believe, is in uh, Premier Division, the Argentinian League. But both of them, I believe, to be better than Gomez. At least that's for me right now. So four goals for Vieto on his debut. Tidy little player he looks to be. Anyways, guys, that is how we are going to come to a close of this episode. If you did enjoy it, a like or thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. It really does indeed help me out. If you've missed any episodes of Path to Power, go ahead and click the link that's going to pop, pop up on the screen in a second, and it'll take you to the entire Path to Power playlist. Other than that, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.